in an apartment with his mother and her two grandchildren inside. Fox 4 has also learned Kalon Horton had criminal history, including previous family violence convictions. That may explain why police considered his family members to be in danger. But what still remains unclear tonight is what happened the night before when officers found him allegedly in an altered state, sent him to the hospital, and the hospital let him go, and so did the police. Fox News' Macy Jenkins live with the latest on the investigation. Macy. Hi, Heather and Steve. Well, yes, there are still several unanswered questions regarding the events of this morning and the events of last night. Now, we don't know the identity of the person who claims she was being held against her will last night or her relationship to Horton. We also don't know why why, why Horton was released after his mental health evaluation, and we don't know whether or not he threatened officers or pointed his weapon towards them. This is 29-year-old Kalan Horton's August 2018 mugshot, arrested for violating probation on a previous conviction for assaulting a family member. Lancaster police say Monday morning, Horton's family members were in danger again. This time, his mother and her two grandchildren inside an apartment. The adult male had fired several rounds inside the apartment. Officers made contact with the adult male who had a gun. Officers engaged the male that resulted in the male being fatally wounded. Police got the call around 5.45 Monday morning about the alleged shooting incident at the Rosemont Apartments. Police say when officers arrived, they announced they were the police and then asked him to come outside. Police say he didn't respond, but also didn't say how long officers waited for a response. Officers entered the apartment, saw him armed, and shot him. The other occupants in the apartment were not injured in the incident. Lancaster Police Chief Sam Urbanski did not give details about Horton's interaction with the officers or explain whether or not Horton had pointed his gun towards them. But police said officers did encounter Horton just hours earlier on Sunday night during a separate incident at a separate home. Police responded to a welfare check and found Horton and a woman who hasn't been identified allegedly being held against her will. Officers believing Horton was intoxicated and in an altered state had taken him to Methodist Charlton Medical Center to be checked out. He was later released. It's unclear why he wasn't taken into custody after he was taken to the hospital. From my understanding, what went wrong between 9 o'clock last night and 5 o'clock this morning? Why was he released from the hospital if he was mentally unstable? I'm not understanding. Like, I'm so confused right now. Horton's friends describe him as a good friend who was trying to get himself together. They told us they didn't believe he had any substance abuse issues or a mental illness. But criminal records tell a different story, including two arrests for drug possession. Horton's extensive criminal history dates back to 2009. It includes the previous family violence charges, two drug charges, and burglary. No, no. I don't think nothing was wrong with him. I don't think that was wrong with him. So that's why I understand what happened. I don't understand what happened. And police have not clarified the relationship between the children and Horton. Again, they are unharmed. The Texas Rangers have taken over the investigation. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button.